So if you know me in real life, you will know that after bitter leaf soup, often salad soup happens to be my second choice of soup. And if I must eat often salad, it has to be really, really prepared. Well prepared, I mean very rich and tasty, just like this one that I'm about to show you. Welcome to my channel. My name is Janet. In case you are coming across my channel for the first time, thank you so much for coming. Thank you for clicking on today's video. And to you all my old subscribers, I so much thank you. I thank you so much. I am seeing the love and support on this particular channel. Thank you so much. And as we go on to prepare today's video, please hit the like button right away so that algorithm will help to push this video to other people to watch it. Thank you once again and let's dive in. Don't forget to subscribe if you are yet to. So my choice of protein for today is going to be goat meat as you saw from the beginning. Goat meat, although I normally prepare with chicken, but today I'm going for goat meat. And guys, I must tell you that this often salad tasted so wonderfully. So I started by steaming the goat meat for five minutes and then I came back to add some hot pepper. Okay, this yellow and green pepper, oh my god, it smells so good. And for the pepper, I'm just going to be going gradually by gradually. I added some salt. And I also added two seasoning cubes. You all know that often salad does not require so much seasoning. Okay. So I added the two seasoning cubes and then I added my yam. This yam will be serving for tikna for those of you that are not Nigerians. Okay. We use yam for often salad and not cocoa yam. Even though some people make that mistake of using cocoa yam, cocoa yam is not allowed in often salad. Okay. You can use it for bitter leaf soup or any other soup like oha or so many other soup but not for a uh, salad so i added a uh, two liters of water and i'm going to just cover it and then allow the yam to get soft and i'm here to remove the yam and then blend it okay if you don't have blender you can make use of your mortar obviously i don't have mortar here and even if i do i just prefer to blend it because that is the easier and quicker way for me to you know blend it and it also i like my yam when i'm blending yam for insala soup i like it to be a little bit watery okay so here are my dry catfish i mean there is no offense salad now with out a dry fish and i'm also adding some catfish this catfish was uh, washed with some warm water and then uh, some vinegar and the vinegar kind of peeled the skin and i kind of like it like that anyway i wanted to make sure that everything was well clean okay so i'm adding it here and i'm just cover and allow to steam for about four to five minutes and then i'll come back again and then mix it and then try to add the remaining ingredients okay as you can see the soup is doing marvelously well so i realized that i needed extra pepper this soup is just for Oga and myself the children don't eat of a salad. If not, I wouldn't have added so much pepper. Okay. And then I added some crayfish blended along with a um, native seasoning, which is ube. I'm using ube. You can use any type of ugly, dawadawa, ugly midi, as far as you add native seasoning, because you all know that of a salad is not complete without native seasoning. Okay, so I'm here to taste. This is time for you to adjust the seasoning if you want to add extra salt, seasoning cube, or, or whatever. That is just time for you to, you know, taste and then see if you can add anything. So at this point, all the seasoning was just intact and it tasted so good. And I'm just good. I'm not adding any other seasoning, okay? And I'm here to add the cocoa yam. I mean, I'm here to add the yam, sorry not cocoa yam i don't know why i'm saying cocoa yam i'm here to add the yam and as you can see i blended it so watery so that it can easily melt in the soup and once that yam melts guys the soup is almost ready okay just take a look at it everywhere smells so good everywhere smells so good in fact i cannot wait to have a taste of this soup so i'm here to add uh, some green leaf you are not forced to add any leaf to insala soup. You can go ahead and have your insala soup just the way it is. But me, I always like to see a touch of green leaves in my insala soup. You can make use of okazi, uzuza leaf, or any other leaves at all as far as it's green, okay? So, this is it, guys. Just take a look at the face of this soup and tell me if you don't like what you're seeing right now. 
so this is the texture remember that in salad soup get taken once it gets cold okay so this is just the perfect texture okay and just wash me dish out and guys just take a look at this soup oh my god i am salivating already so if you have watched up to this point please subscribe to this channel like and share please like this video is very very important thank you once again i will see you on my next video ciao bye bye